Hey, everybody. I'm Paste Magazine TV editor Allison Keene. And I'm Paste Editor-in-Chief Josh Jackson. And today we're talking about Schitt's Creek. And we did not say a swear that is spelled S-C-H-I-T-T. Uh, but Schitt's Creek is a show that chronicles the fall of the Rose family who lose their video store fortune after being defrauded by their business manager and end up relying on their sole remaining asset, a tiny backwater town called Schitt's Creek, which was bought as a joke gift many decades before. So the family's made up of former magnate Johnny, played by Eugene Levy, his soap opera star wife Moira, played by Catherine O'Hara, their party girl daughter Alexis, played by Annie Murray, uh, Murphy, excuse me, and fashion forward son David, played by Daniel Levy, who is Le- Eugene's son and who also co-created the series. Now, seasons one through five are on Netflix, currently streaming. Uh, seasons one through four are streaming on CW Seed. And season six, the show's last, is currently airing on Pop TV and Josh, were you a binger on this show, or did you know it from Pop TV when I, it started? I, I'm not sure who knew it from Pop TV when it started. <laughs> it's very I, fair. I think the I think the Canadian audience was already there, but for American audiences, this really was a show that, when it came to Netflix, uh, started blowing up. And yeah. I had several people tell me, "Oh, you got to watch the show. You got to watch the show." And I did. Uh, I didn't jump in and binge right away. I'd watched first few episodes and thought, "Do I really love these characters? I'm not sure." But really, when it gets further into that first season, you come to care about this crazy family who does not seem particularly sympathetic at first, but the character development, particularly um, of the children, um, <laughs> yeah. has just been amazing. The da- adult David, children, is, yeah. David is one of my favorite characters on television. Yeah, and Alexis is one who's become my favorite. And uh, it's a very classic fish out of water story. You know, you've got this rich family falling on hard times, sort of arrested development like in that way that suddenly their money's, you know, all gone. And But they end up in this backwater town and um, of Shit's Creek. And we had talked a little bit earlier about how that title, I think, kept a lot of people away from it because it sounded like a very like dumb comedy that was just going to like yeah. play for cheap laughs and it's not it's incredibly smart yeah. and funny sort and of a reverse Beverly Hillbillies yeah. kind of thing <laughs> but yeah it's, it is uh, very smart yeah it's an re- incredibly smart show and, and as Josh mentioned too it is a Canadian co-production so it started on Pop TV which used to be the preview channel I just learned enough um, but yeah Netflix is really where it's blown up and uh, it's it's a show that I think is um, I mean it's full of the quirky townsfolk, you know, it kind of has that vibe to it. And it takes a little while to get going, but once you do, yeah, you're so invested in these characters and, yeah. and seriously, and it is a comedy and it is very funny, but especially as it goes on, the, the episodes get increasingly emotional and have a lot of dramatic beats and yeah. it still really it, works. So you mentioned Arrested Development before. I, it, it's, uh, the, the plot is a little bit like that, but the, the feel of the show is more Parks and Rec. It's got heart. Yeah. It, these characters, you know, have major flaws, all of them that are very obvious, but they all grow and try to do better and realize in some ways that, okay, life may not be as fun or as nice as it, as it was before. And there's, there's, they're constantly thinking back, oh yeah, no, we love, we loved our old lifestyle, but <laughs> um, they realize that they are more of a family now. So it's, it's a, it's a sweet show and a very funny show. Very funny. I think one of the funniest things is that if you've seen pictures of the show, um, Catherine O'Hara, who plays Moira, the matriarch, and her son, David, have kept their uh, high fashion. They were, only, they were not allowed to keep many things, you know, when they lost all their money and everything, but they were able to keep a lot of their super, super high fashion clothes. And one of the things that's interesting is that these are all like haute couture outfits um, that the show has, you know, produced, whatever, but they actually... Uh, reuse them over the season. So it actually creates some believability that they have these like few very expensive pieces, but they keep coming back to uh, them yeah. and still keep using them. Um, and it's it's just that sort of thing where it's like, yeah, and, and Moira's outfits truly, and we have a list on pastemagazine.com of just like her most outrageous, <laughs> interesting things. Um, is something truly to see. As on is its own. her, as is her accent in this show, which is <laughs> an indefinable it, sort yes. of, uh, yeah. You Apparently, she just showed up on set and just started talking like this, and it is, it is very <laughs> sort of highbrow elitist. Gen- I don't, I don't even know what region it's supposed to be from, but there's it is, a, a, it's unique. An episode in, I think, season five where she and Johnny have to babysit, which of course is full of hilarity. And so she looks at Le Bebe, as she calls it, and she goes, isn't it scheduled to go dormant now? And that basically sums up <laughs> that, Moira and her feelings about children in general. And um, Catherine O'Hara, such a great uh, actress, came and she from and Second Eugene City. And have worked together on so many shows for, too. Yeah, for so long. Or so many um, films, so many yeah. movies, yeah. So um, yeah, a couple treasures there. 
And the supporting cast, you have Chris Elliott. Um, As the mayor of Schitt's Creek. The mayor of Schitt's who Creek. Who is, is uh, Roland Schitt is his name. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like you hear this and you're like, yeah, yeah. OK, but it works. It, it really does. works. Uh, and also um, Eugene Levy's uh, daughter, uh, Daniel Levy's sister, um, uh, Sarah play Sarah Levy plays Twyla, yes, the, the, waitress, the cafe waitress, who doesn't have as much to do as the two of them. But every moment she's on screen kind of steals her scenes as well. The show has a lot of asides where they reference uh, the characters past and not just the roses. And they're sort of like um, all of these celebrity name drops of, you know, these crazy parties they used to go to or people they used to hang out with. But Twyla in particular is always referencing like her mom's boyfriends or like things in the past. That you're just kind of like, oh, her cousins. And yeah. Uncles and, <laughs> but she says it with a big smile and it's yeah. just sort of this like, oh, wait, what did she say? She, um, yes. It's a lot of that sort of like, you know, uh, the, the tone of the show is really interesting. It, it moves in a lot of different ways. And um, but it's really grown And this. The sixth season is its last and it feels like it could keep going forever. But, I know. You know. And these are not uh, American network uh, kinds of seasons. So there's, you know, 10, 12 episodes. Um, yeah, I think about 12 episodes a season. Yeah, a season. So um, an easy I've been binge watch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> an easy, it is a very bingeable show because it's. It is just little joy at the end of your day. So I think that's it for us. Uh, we hope you guys will enjoy Shit's Creek. It is available on Netflix, on CW Seed, and currently on Pop TV. And for more television show recommendations and our picks for the best TV, go to pastemagazine.com.